What's up everyone, Coach Tony from Bombex Strength, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that's a little more philosophical rather than nuts and bolts of training, but I think it's a really important concept for people to understand so that they're happy with their training and that they get the most out of their training for a long, successful training career. And that's the difference between training for health and training for performance. And I think a lot of coaches falsely sell the idea that you can do both, that you can train for the highest level of performance in some sort of sport, whether it's powerlifting, whether it's a team sport like baseball or football or basketball, and be as healthy as possible in the sense that you're always gonna feel good, you're gonna have a ton of energy, that you're not going to get injured. And I think that this is just a complete falsehood, unfortunately. Um, I've been competing in powerlifting for over 12 years now, and I've seen that at the highest levels, at, at the highest levels that we've been exposed to, which you know are national level, international level, but we're not training world champions by any means, but even at the I would say intermediate to, to, to low advanced levels, people still deal with things that detract from their health in order to perform at the highest level. And when I see, say detract from their health, I don't mean that they're necessarily uh, experiencing a poor quality of life for training for, from training for performance, but there's what I call a cost of doing business. If you want to get as strong as humanly possible, if you want to get as muscular as humanly possible, if you want to play a sport at a professional level, there's a certain amount of training that you have to do to get to that point that's going to cause a lot of fatigue. You're going to be tired sometimes. You're not going to feel like training. You're going to be demotivated because of the level of physical and psychological fatigue that you go through you're gonna accumulate some overuse injuries. Just the nature of performing at a high level requires training to a certain degree where sometimes things happen. You might have a nagging injury there. You might have um, some sort of setback there. And these things are part of the process. We do our best to manage the training process so those things happen as infrequently as possible. But kind of as Bruce Arians, uh, formerly the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers says, no risk it, no biscuit. You just aren't gonna achieve those high level performances if you're not training to a degree that kind of flirts with that line of decreasing your quality of life in some sense. Now, a lot of coaches also kind of get on their high horse and talk about that you, uh, the difference between exercising and training. And they look down upon people who, who uh, lift weights just to exercise. And here's the thing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you just want to train to train because you like the feeling of working out, because you like the idea of living a long, healthy life, having a, a higher than average amount of muscle mass, being stronger than the average person to the degree where it makes your everyday life better, that's fine. You don't have to train to be a powerlifting world champion. You don't have to train to be the best at this sport or the best at that sport. It's okay just to exercise. And in fact, just exercising, so just kind of going through the motions with whatever training you're doing, there's a lot of good research to show that that's gonna help you live longer, it's gonna reduce the likelihood of disease, it's just going to lead to a happy, healthy life without the added pressure of performing to some sort of arbitrary standard, like you must be this strong to be considered a power lifter or a high level athlete or whatever it might be. So don't let anybody tell you that you have to train for performance. You can just exercise and you can use strength training to do that. You can use any form of aerobic exercise to do that. It doesn't matter. But know that if you're just going to exercise with the idea of improving your quality of life, improving your health, you're probably just not gonna achieve those exceptionally high levels of performance. So I think you have to ask yourself, what is it that you're training for? What's your why? What gets you out of bed, into the gym, and under the bar every day? And if it's high levels of performance, trying to be the best lifter you can be, trying to be the most muscular person you can be, trying to be the best athlete on your team, in your league, whatever it is, understand the cost of doing business and know that there are gonna be bumps and bruises along the way, and you have to be willing to accept that. Or, if the answer to your why is, I just wanna be happy, I just wanna be healthy, I just wanna feel good, understand that you might not achieve these levels of highest performance, because achieving those levels of performance 
require a little bit extra that might push you over the edge as far as being healthy. So don't confuse training for performance and training for health. You can kind of blend the two, but you're probably not gonna get the best of both worlds and that's important to understand.